Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Virgo for November of 2012. This also applies if you have a Virgo ascendant. So my dear Virgos, this month we have a lot happening in the heavens and you're going to be particularly affected by the fact that Mercury, your ruling planet, goes retrograde from the 5th to the 25th of this month. And it's going to be retrograde in your fourth house of home and family. So this is not a good time for signing legal documents, for starting a new big deal, for going into important negotiations. Um, it's a time for completions. So if you've already started something, it can very often complete during this time. It's a wonderful time for finding something you've lost. If you've been searching for something for a long time, papers, something important, it very often turns up during the Mercury retrograde. It's also a very good time uh, when somebody from the past can come back into your life to resolve something that maybe has felt unresolved, that needed to be said, that needed to be communicated. This can happen during the Mercury retrograde. Of course, it's a very good time for um, any kind of um, catching up on paperwork. Virgos, you love that. Any time for getting yourself in order. Very good doing it during this Mercury retrograde. Um, so we've got Venus in your second house for the first three weeks of the month. Uh, this is an opportunity to draw money to you, to draw opportunities to you. So keep this in mind, really stay open as to ways in which you can create more money, maybe a passive income, maybe doing something on the internet that could bring you some extra money. And the second week of the month, we've got a trine between that Venus to Jupiter in your 10th house. So this could be a new work opportunity, or maybe an opportunity to travel for work. Maybe an opportunity as well to work with people from overseas that could bring you money. So that's looking quite positive for you, Virgos, particularly that second week of the month. The other very important thing that's happening this month is that we have a new moon solar eclipse on the 13th of November. And this is happening in your third house. Now, a solar eclipse, the energy of a solar eclipse, lasts for at least six months after the event. And it usually brings about somewhat of a crisis very often, where um, something comes to a head. So with it being in your third house, Virgos, this could be about learning and studying. Maybe it's time to go to school, to learn something new, to change your career direction, to learn some new skills. You might find you're graduating coming up. There's a graduation coming up or you're embarking on a new course of study. There could also be some big changes with how you learn. Of course, there are so many new devices and ways in which we learn now. All that is changing, but your ideas are going to be changing. You may find also that your environment changes. It could signal a relocation or a move, maybe a move to another country. There may be some new opportunities coming up. Again, this solar eclipse brings about some big events. It's always something big. It could be a marriage. It could be a divorce. Um, it could be something with a sibling coming up with it being in your third house. Um, it could be something with a friend, somebody whom you socialize with. And it could also be very much connected with technology, computers, how you use computers, how maybe you need to uh, improve your knowledge. There's all kinds of ways in which this can play out, but for you, particularly Virgos, I think it's going to be connected with studying and learning new skills. And most, for the most part, you love that. Just don't take action until Mercury goes direct after the 25th of this month. We've got a lot going on as well in your fourth house of home with Mars being there as well. So a lot of activity happening. If you want to get a lot done in the home area, I think you're going to be able to do that. There could be some disputes over land ownership, over property ownership. So make sure, again, you're not taking serious action until this Mercury has gone direct. Very good time for researching and getting your information together during the retrograde. The last week of the month, we've got the vibration of Mars Pluto into your fifth house. This could mean an intense love affair. It could mean that your business really starts to take off. It could be some very powerful business dealings. You may meet somebody who's really able to have a very powerful influence on your business 
or if you've got a creative career on your creative career. It's also somebody who could have a very powerful effect on you um, on that intimate level, as I said, a very intense affair. But it certainly will trigger your creative juices. And this would be a wonderful time for really, um, if you're thinking about going into business or adding a new product or service to what you do, this is a good time for thinking about it and then taking action at the very end of the month, once you're sure and you've done all your research. So there you have it, my dear Virgos. I wish you a great month. Thank you to those of you who like the videos, who comment, who favourite. And of course, those of you who come for readings, I'm always delighted to hear from you. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.